Pyrrho of Elis, c. 300 and 6270 BCE, was an ancient Greek philosopher and one of the key figures associated with scepticism. He is often considered the founder of Pyrrhonian scepticism, a school of thought that promoted the suspension of judgment and the avoidance of dogmatic beliefs. Pyrrho's philosophy was centered around the idea that human beings should refrain from making absolute claims about reality, as our senses and reasoning can be fallible. He believed that we should remain in a state of perpetual inquiry, recognizing the limitations of our understanding and the uncertainty of the external world. Pyrrho's teachings heavily influenced later philosophers, including Sextus Empiricus and Michael de Montaigne, who embraced a similar skeptical approach. While Pyrrho himself didn't leave behind any written works, his ideas were transmitted through the writings of his students and followers. The Pyrrhonian tradition continued to evolve and impact the history of philosophy, challenging assumptions and encouraging a more cautious and critical attitude towards knowledge and beliefs. Pyrrho's philosophy, known as Pyrrhonism, had several key principles. 1. Ipike. This term refers to the suspension of judgment. Pyrrhonists believed in withholding assent to any particular belief or claim, as they recognized that our perceptions and reasoning could be misleading. 2. Apatheia. Pyrrho advocated for a state of emotional tranquility and freedom from disturbance. By not being attached to any particular belief or desire, individuals could achieve a sense of inner peace. 3. Equipollence. Pyrrhonists held that arguments and evidence for opposing viewpoints often balanced out, making it difficult to definitively determine the truth of a matter. This view reinforced the idea of suspending judgment. Phenomenalism Pyrrho believed that we could only know how things appear to us, rather than their true nature. He suggested that since different people and animals perceive things differently, it's impossible to arrive at an objective understanding of reality. 5. Indifference Pyrrho advised adopting an attitude of indifference toward things, recognizing that there is no inherent good or bad in the world. This helped individuals avoid being swayed by desires and fears. 6. Agrippa's Trilemma one of Pyrrho's followers, Agrippa, formulated a set of arguments known as the Five Modes of Agrippa, which presented three alternatives for any claim, infinite regress, circular reasoning, or dogmatic assumption. These alternatives further supported the idea of suspending judgment. It's important to note that while Pyrrhonism advocated for skepticism and doubt, it also aimed to cultivate a practical way of living that could lead to tranquility and freedom from mental distress. Pyrrho of Elis was a student of Anaxarchus and later travelled to India with the expedition of Alexander the Great. His experiences in India, where he encountered various philosophical and religious perspectives, may have influenced his sceptical outlook. Pyrrho's philosophy was characterised by his belief in epoche, which is the suspension of judgement on all matters, including ethical, metaphysical, and epistemological questions. Pyrrho's teachings were primarily transmitted through his student Timon of Phleas and the later philosopher Sextus Empiricus. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.